Hi, my name is Justin Conway. I'm an Excel expert, and I'm going to walk you through the steps necessary to add a footnote in Excel. First thing that you want to do is find out where you want to put the footnote in your Excel document. If for some reason I wanted to have it right alongside this uh, column of titles, I would just select in that cell, right click, and you'll have the option to add a hyperlink. Once you select hyperlink, it'll give you the option to link to, and you can add a document. So this is if you had a long document that you wouldn't want to export and make the, doc the Excel sheet that you're working on huge with all of that data. Um, this is an option to link to an external document so that you can easily access that information, again, without having to import it. Um, you would select document and then click the select button to browse through your computer and select a piece of information that you'd like to uh, insert. For us, let's click this tutorial and click open. Now it's created a custom link. We're going to click OK. And this is a hyperlink that goes directly to that file. So within this Excel sheet, you can access that Word document called tutorial. Another way to create a footnote is within the actual Excel sheet. So if I wanted to link Jake, uh, Jake's name in the first column to his phone number for easy access, what I would first do is select the cell for Jake. I would select hyperlink. Uh, after right-clicking, again, right-click, select hyperlink, and then go to Anchor. Next to Anchor, you'll see the Locate button. Click Locate. Select the sheet that you're working on, which is Sheet 1. And the cell reference is going to be the field which the anchor is linked to. In this instance, we're going to use K, and that is column, um, sorry, row 2. So that's going to be K2 in this area. Click OK, OK it again, and now you'll see Jake is a hyperlink. If you click on that, it'll send you right over to his phone number. That's how to create a footnote in Excel. Thanks.